What's up, gang? It's a Tuesday, I think. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I don't know. Watch on. But today, I wanted to tell you the story of how Thought Patrol became a brand. And I hate to call it a brand because I think that cheapens it and makes it sound just like the purpose is just to make money and push merchandise, which that is not the case. I saw somebody comment that on Reddit recently. Somebody posted a picture of a simp prevention car and one of the comments was, they're just doing this to push merchandise. I'm not trying to push shit. I don't push anything. I don't advertise anything. I don't go out of my way to tell anybody, go buy this, go buy that. I don't care. The stuff I make is because I think it looks cool and if other people like it and they think it looks cool and they wanna buy it, I make that available for them. I don't do stuff with the purpose of, I want to make money, I want to push merchandise, but whatever. We'll come back to that. Here's the full story. So back in 2021, 2021, I put the original Top Patrol wrap on my truck. And I wanted to have a little recruiting link on the back window. You know, it says, like Border Patrol says, cbp.gov slash careers, join us. They have that on the rear window, rear window of most of their trucks. I wanted to have something like that. Originally, it was going to be thoughtpatrol.gov slash careers, but... I can't get our .gov domain, so I went on Google Domains and I found out that toppatrol.org was available for 12 bucks. So I bought it and I set up a Shopify site on it because Shopify is what I know the best. I mean, it's the easiest way for me to set up a website fast and relatively cheaply. I set that up, I put the recruiting link on the back of my truck, it says join us, toppatrol.org slash careers, and people visited it, strangely. So I decided that I should actually have merchandise up there to sell, because Shopify is an e-commerce platform, so I could just put items up there and sell them. At the same time, my truck went viral on Reddit, and a bunch of people in the Reddit comments were saying that they wanted shirts with the Department of Housing and Security design. So I'm like, yeah, I can do that, absolutely. So I had a printing shop, I believe they're in Kansas City or something, make a bunch of shirts with the DHI design and a bunch with the US Top Patrol design. And I put those up on Shopify on the Top Patrol Network site. And they started selling. And I realized that maybe people liked this more than I thought they would. So I put up some more items. I think the second item I put up was the Top Patrol wrap kits because I had other people asking me, emailing me, asking, how do I make my truck look like this? So I put up wrap kits and people started buying them. And then I wanted to do more shirt designs. I wanted to do patches. Patches came next because patches are like an essential law enforcement thing. So I made the circle patch first, the US Top Patrol circle patch, then made the tombstone patches, then made the badge patches. Then I started adding more shirts. I believe the hoodies might have come before the shirts. No, actually the first shirts that we made I believe were the long sleeve raid shirts. The long sleeve green ones with Top Patrol on the sleeves and TPP in the back. Those were the first ones. And then I went to Dan Built Engineering, my friends who build my trucks, and one of their friends was there who had a CBP shirt on, because they were a CBP officer. They had a shirt on and it said CBP Federal Officer on the back, and I liked the design. So I found that design online, I'm like, I want to make something like this. So I made the TBP field agent shirts, the short sleeve ones, the ones that you see me wearing in some of my videos. And then came the raid jacket. The raid jacket was again just something that I believe, I think a follower suggested it to me. And I thought that's a cool idea, I love raid jackets, I think they look cool, obviously everybody thinks they look cool because they get used in movies so often that people recognize them. You know, FBI style raid jackets and stuff like that. So I made raid jackets that had Top Patrol on the sleeves and Top Patrol right here. Oh, my freaking boxers are showing. This isn't that kind of video. I made these raid jackets and I started wearing them. I wore them in uh, one of my biggest videos that I ever made. And I mean, that I've made so far, hint, hint. I put that on because it was just the easiest option. I didn't want to put on the whole Top Patrol uniform like Blahaj over here is wearing. I didn't want to put that whole damn thing on. So I just put on the rave jacket and I put up a video about the license plates and we sold a ton of license plates and we sold a ton of rave jackets. And the point I'm trying to make here is that this was all just my brain just being wacky and kooky and deciding that I want to make this right now and so I'm going to find a way to make it. And when I decided that I wanted to make a design, I always think they're cool as shit. So I'm assuming other people are going to think they're cool as shit. So I decided to sell them and make them available to other people so they can buy them. That's the entire method behind the madness of the Thought Patrol merchandise empire. I think stuff looks cool, so I make it for myself, and then I tell other people, hey, if you want this, I can make one for you too. It's not 
There's no master plan behind it. There's no like private equity fucking Wall Street shit behind it blueprint business plan. It's just me being dumb and deciding that something looks cool so I have to make it. It's gotten me decently far. I mean, we have, what, two wrap kits going out today. We have four more. This is the most wrap kits I've ever had in the pipeline. Four more wrap kits in the pipeline. Two of them going to San Diego. I'm going to be seeing Top Patrol vehicles driving around in my own city. I mean, it's insane. But it's all happened by accident. It hasn't been, there's no purpose behind it. There's no blueprint. There's no master plan. It's just me being silly and deciding that I want to make stuff and I want to show it to other people and I think that they're going to think it's cool and so I say, hey, you want one of these? I can make one for you if you want it. That's the entire thing. There's no pushing merchandise ethos behind it. There's no, I want to make money off this. I need to, I need to get rich off of Thought Patrol. I make very little margin on these items. I'm just going to be completely honest. On a short sleeve t-shirt, I make $5. If that's a $30 item, I make $5. So like, what, 12, 15 points? I mean, it's it's nothing. But I do it because I enjoy it. I like sharing this project with other people. I like allowing people to represent the Thought Patrol. You know, not just as a brand, just as a silly, stupid idea. What if the Thought Patrol was real? That's the whole concept behind this thing behind everything I'm doing in the future, behind everything I'm working on now. So what if it was real? That's the story behind the Thought Patrol brand, which I hate calling it a goddamn brand, but I guess if I have to, then I have to. So that's kind of what it is at this point. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.